I am really passionate about the role that culture can play in guiding, in bringing about change towards human rights. I'm also adamant about cultural awareness and engagement as a way to promote human rights and thus achieve international goals for peace, justice, and development. To some, it might sound contradictory, but if examined with depth, it does not have to be so. It depends how we view culture and how we engage communities and empower them to find their own way to bring about change. Within UNFPA, the United Nations Population Fund, we are working, pioneering within the UN system a, a different approach looking at the links, gender mainstreaming, cultural sensitivity to a human rights-based approach. Both a culture and a gender lens are required at the same time to promote human rights and bring about change in thinking and in behavior. And we have learned that understanding the cultures in which we work and being able to identify and build on positive elements within them can facilitate the identification of harmful practices and bringing about lasting change that comes from within. And I would like to make it clear that this does not mean that violations of human rights should go unchallenged. On the contrary, the advantage of a culturally sensitive approach is that it provides insights on how to align cultural practices and human rights most effectively. This approach also provides the framework to contest existing practices and to negotiate change. It also empowers communities to look within and thus the conclusions and solutions are regarded as indigenously owned by the people themselves. So they're not being seen as a Western agenda being imposed on societies, other societies. We have found this to be true in tackling such challenges as female genital mutilation or cutting. And here you see the cultural aspect. Some want mutilation, some want cutting. Because they argue that if you say mutilation, the Western world is making a value judgment on a cultural practice. So they want to replace it by cutting. And there is a divide among women, whether it's cult cutting or mutilation. And so we use genital mutilation slash cutting in addressing the violence against women, including domestic abuse and honor killings, and in working with partners to end prenatal sex selection in Asian countries where an estimated 100 million girls are missing due to a preference for sons. People are both shaped by and actively shape their own cultures.